Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is the smog strike. So first of all, we'll be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we'll be putting it up. But before proceeding further, guys, make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't done so. It will really motivate me to get more such content for you. And I believe the channel is going to be really helpful for you. So let's get started with the problem statement now. So the problem says, a geek once visited a magical island where he found a special creature. He named it as a smog. He noticed a very strange thing there, that the smog resembled the primary colors of light. Okay, so to make it more clear, the primary colors of light are red, green and blue. He talked to one of the smog. The smog came to know that he is a good programmer. The smog suggested a deal that they will ask him one question and if he is able to answer that question, they will allow the geek to take anything from the island. So what is the question? So this is as follows. So the smog possess a very magical property. When two smogs of different colors meet with other, they get converted into a smog of the third color. How many minimum number of smogs will be remaining after this transformation? The question looks simple to give. However, the smogs put another constraint to make the geek think more on that. So what is that? The two smogs must be adjacent to each other to make the transformation take place. There are n smogs, the color of which are given in an array. So they have given the problem, uh, or, you know, that is the uh, word problem they have given. So the important part in this statement that they have provided, I would say that there are three primary colors, red, green, and blue, right? And if you're combining, um, two colors red and green so i mean if you're combining two colors right so that will be converted into a third color into the third color right so along with that there is one more condition that this transformation right we can do only if the two colors are adjacent to each other if they're adjacent to each other then only we can do this right so what we have to do is we have to determine the minimum number of smurfs that would be remaining after we are doing this transformation so let's understand the same with the help of an example. So here's our example first. We are having an equal to five. So L elements are red, green, blue, red, blue. Right. So if you are combining red and green, we'll be getting blue. Then we have then the array would be what blue, blue, red, blue. So if we are combining red, blue, we'll be getting green. Right. And then if we will combine blue and blue and green, that we'll be getting from here blue and green. So we'll be getting what? Right. Now we'll be uh, we'll be remaining with with what? Now the R and the last B, that would be remaining, right? So that would be remaining. So from that we'll be making G. Okay. If it is not clear, so here you can see that green will form what? Blue. Now the updated array is going to be blue, blue, red, blue. Right. So blue, blue we cannot combine. Okay. Then we'll be having this red, blue. So red, blue we can have G. So now we'll be having blue, blue, G. So blue and G we can combine. We'll be having R. Then we are left with blue and R. Right. Uh, blue and red okay so blue and red if we will combine so we'll be getting green g okay so i hope now that is making sense for you okay so in the next example we have an equal to two and uh, we are having two smokes of color red right so as if they have two hours so they cannot change to anything else so what our task is that we um, don't need to read any input or print anything our task is to complete the function find min which takes n and a as input parameters and returns the minimum number of smurfs existing at that expected time complexity and auxiliary space has been mentioned right so it's more of a pattern based question right so uh, there's a pattern that has to be observed okay so if you will see right now here if i will ask you what is the count the count of uh, if you will see here the count of uh, red was Two and blue was two and green was, uh, green was what? Green was one, one right? So red and blue are twi uh, has occurred twice and green has occurred. Once so once let's try to understand the pattern, right? Once you got the pattern right, so then the implementation is too easy for this problem. So here, if you will see, right? So uh, right now, let's let's take in this way, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So let's take one more element. Let's call it as G. Okay. So now you will see, uh both all the three colors red has occurred twice green has occurred twice and blue has occurred 
right so if i will ask you what should be the output for this index let's make it read in green uh, red and green we are combining we'll be getting uh, blue okay then blue and red we are combining we'll be getting green okay then blue and green we are combining so combining blue and green so blue and green if you are combining so we'll be getting what right now if green and red you are combining we are will be getting blue okay so what would be the output output would be output would be two so now right now you can see the count of all these three colors was what the count the frequency was what that was even right so okay so one thing okay now if you will if you will uh, let's say if you will add also right if you will increase the count right in, in the even in the even terms right for this red green blue so right now also they, they, has occurred, they have occurred twice it means the count is even so you can check with uh, taking other input as well so the pattern that is being followed right so if the count of this all these colors the frequency of all these colors if that is even right that is even then the output would be two right what if it is odd what if it is odd let's take like this red green blue. so they are they have occurred they have occurred only one so the occurrence is odd we can say so red and green will combine we'll get blue so blue and blue obviously the output would be what two so yeah the next thing is that if the occurrence of if the occurrence of or if the count of the three colors that is occurred if that is odd then also the output would be two now what if uh, we have green 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 what should be the output the output should be three what if we have red red the output should be two eight because now we cannot make the class uh, um what we say transformation right uh, if we have just a blue what would be the output that would be one it means it means three what we can do is we can take three variables to maintain the count to maintain the count of uh, these three colors green red and blue right so if any of the count uh, of if the count of any of these colors is equal to that of is equal to that of the value of n that we are having right so here you can see n value is what three here the value of n is what two here the value of n is what one so if the count for any of the color is equal to the value of n so then we can simply return the value of n itself right okay okay so this pattern you got if the occurrence is even for all the colors or if the occurrence is odd the output would be two and if the count of any of these colors is equal to the equal to that of the value of the size of the array then we have to simply return the size of the array okay if this these uh, scenarios is not been satisfied then at the end and uh, then the last remaining possibility is that the output would be one right the first example that you can refer to okay so that this thing right so that is what the pattern that is being followed for this particular problem so the same we have implemented right so we are having the count of this red green and blue initialized with zero uh, right so we are having this loop now here we are checking that if um, we have came across a red blue or green color so accordingly we are implementing the count for red red, red green and blue right and here we are checking that if the count of any of these colors right if that is equal equal to that of n then we are simply returning n otherwise we are checking for this condition that if the count of all these three colors is even or the count of all these colors is frequency of all these colors is odd right so if that is the thing so we are simply returning two otherwise we are returning one right so yeah that was a complete term problem i hope that was clear for you if it is so then make sure to hit the like button do subscribe my channel and if you have any queries let me know in the comment section uh, even though i have provided this code in the description but i don't think that you need the reference because uh, you know the problem is easy only once you got the logic then implementation is easy only so try implementing at your end thank you so much for watching everyone bye bye